everyone this is Rachel from Rachel's creative space and welcome to my channel today I want to just go over my December daily haul through Allie Edwards uh, if you're not familiar you can go to AllieEdwards.com um, and on her blog you can uh, do a search just by December daily and you can see past years and um, kits and what other people have done and things like that. So normally the uh, ordering period comes open um, the end of August, beginning of September somewhere. And it's usually a month long. So you can place an order and you can go back and add to your box without any additional shipping charges added on normally. Um, I usually get quite a bit. I actually save for this every year. And um, because I also use the products outside of de December daily. I also make regular 12 by 12 scrapbook pages for my children and grandchildren. Um, I share things with other people. Um, I have a friend who also scrapbooks, my daughter. Um, so, yeah, what I get might seem like a lot, but when you put it in um, context on how much you're using it versus just one album, um, makes a big difference. So this year, they did a buy all with some of the items, which I did get. And I'm going to go over each thing. Normally, I don't add to my box during the month, but this year I did because I did change my mind and I wanted to get this cute gingerbread mug and it has December daily on it. Uh, you'll see that gingerbread's a big uh, item in this year's kit and it has all of the colors in the kit. I also added uh, this glass um, cup or I guess they call it a glass can is what they call it. Um, and it comes with the lid and you can see if our, I'm using it right now. But it also has the trees in the various colors of the kit. Um, I'm in Florida, so I'm not always drinking something hot. And I hate coffee. Despise coffee. Wish I loved coffee, but I don't. But I do love chai tea latte, cocoa, things like that. So um, I do like to have a, a cup that I can use when it does get cooler because here in December, I live in East Central Florida, right on the coast, on the East Coast. So um, sometimes Decembers are warmer than other Decembers. So you never know. But this I'll definitely use a lot. So, and I apologize. Um, I get a very dry mouth, especially when I uh, talk a lot. So I'll have to stop and, and take a quick sip of something so that I try and um, keep going. Um, and also, I apologize if you hear the hum of the AC or I've got a little fan over here um, because um, it was a little cooler this morning and um, it's warming up a bit and I'm trying not to turn on my AC too much if I don't have to. So let's get started. I'm going to go over. I did open all this. I'm a little late in providing you an overview because we were hit by a hurricane, Hurricane Milton. Um, it hit the West Coast and came straight across the state. We didn't get a lot of the actual storm too bad here where I'm at. But we got hit by tornadoes pretty bad. So I have, I work in emergency management. So I work way before storm and way after. So today's my first day off, hoping, keeping my fingers crossed, everything crossed, that I don't get calls or anything. Um, so this is my first time off in 18 days. Um, funny story, just as we're activating the EOC, um... I get notification that my pack, my December daily package was delivered. Yep, it was delivered. And so we had conference calls and I told my boss, I said, I'm running home. I said, I got a big package that's worth a lot of money. 
sitting on my front porch and a storm's hitting. Luckily, it hadn't rained in just a little bit because it had been raining quite a bit beforehand. And it had not rained at all since my package had been delivered. So not a drop on my package. Got my package, got back, and all was good, which I'm glad because uh, we got a bad tornado, um, which we normally get don't get that size to tornado. An F3 came through the county. I live near uh, the county line, and the county below me, it started there and came through our county. Um, it was an F3, which normally we get, or F3, EF3, um, normally we get zeros and ones. I mean, in Florida, we get a lot of tornadoes, but they're very small, very short lived. So that's why people think we don't get them. So anyway, when I had a break at work, I actually went through my items, make sure everything was there and stuff. So I could take a few minutes and, and if something was uh, not right or missing or something, I could let customer service know right away. So I've already opened everything so um but some stuff are still in packaging so just wanted to let you know that um so anyway let's see what all i got so this year um i was really torn i loved all the albums i love this pattern i love the tree pattern on the other one i didn't know if i wanted a six by eight or a larger 10 by 8 or what I wanted to do. I decided to do the 10 by 8 because um, I do have a grandbaby who turns 2 in December. And the reason I went with a 10 by 8, the same reason I went with it last year was to get those large photos. Um, my kids, we didn't have the modern day scrapbooking when they were little. We didn't have, I'm sorry, we did not have uh, cellular phones, much less a smartphone when they were little. Everything was camera, film, pay for processing. So it was much harder to do. Um, and I was always the picture taker, the mom you know, doing all the cooking, doing all of these things. It was hard to take pictures. So I like to enjoy this time of the year now. I like to get those pictures. I got two step granddaughters, one biological granddaughter. Um, and so, yeah, that's the reason I got this. Now these albums uh, come with page protectors. It has a variety of page protectors. This year there is a new size of three, um, well, it's actually six, but three and three, uh, three by four pockets. So it is slightly smaller than the 10 by eight because it comes to here. If you can see it, sorry for the lighting. And it's just slightly small, which does not bother me in the least. Um, we also, you can also add any other size, six by eight pages. You can add three by eight pages. So you don't have to go with just 10 by eight, right? Um, I like having the variety. And so these smaller ones, you can actually put a tab or something to, uh, if you wanted to, to help be able to flip those. So that's my album. Um... I already had lots of extra page protectors in my stash, but uh, I went ahead and got um, the variety pack that has the full 10 by 8, the two 4 by 10s on top of each other, the 3 by 4s, which I got a whole separate pack of that, which has six pockets. And the one that has the two four by sixes and two four by fours, um, just to have some extras. Um, also, I added some of the plastic page protect, not page protectors, um, 
attachers, um, which I added to my box. So I'm going to start with uh, the main kit. This was the Buy All Embellishment Kit. So I'm going to move that off to the side. This is the main kit. The mini kit, uh, the Paisley Press mini kit. I also got the advent calendar and the buy all stamp sets. And a couple little other items. So, let's start with the paper. This was part of the main kit. And there's other paper too that is um, in the buy all. So, we have the bows on a mint green. Pretty um, stars on red. And the one thing I want to mention is it's a lot, but there's items that you can use any time of year too, right? So you can use bows anytime. There's nothing on here that screams Christmas, nor this. You can use this anytime. You have some things that are different though, like gingerbread. Um, there's this Merry Christmas pattern that's repeated in, in the different colors. Of course, you're only going to use that for Christmas, right? Um, this is Merry repeated and has a background of all the colors. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Scallops is a big uh, motif this year. Um, so we got scallop squares that you can cut out. You can use different stories, put pictures or whatever you want to in it. Again, that can be used anytime. You can cut this down to be a six by eight or even three by eight. Um, these uh, ornaments, um, another item that's repeated in the kits. Again, you can cut these, fussy cut these out if you want. Um, this says December repeated, kind of like a, uh, I would say like a chalk, sort of like, but it's very uh, faded like. Um, doves, trees, again, they're not decorated Christmas trees. You could use this for anything like uh, a camping trip, hiking, uh, anything that you like. Same thing with this one. This has all the colors of the kit, so you can use this for anything. I am not going to sit here and try to put all that back in the packaging. Um, when I'm just going to end up organizing it later anyway. I love these boxes. These things are really sturdy. Um, you can reuse it, store things in it. Or even cut this part up if you wanted to keep it open. All kinds of things. Um, so, well, I did not open the washi tape because I didn't feel like I needed to. Um, it was pretty obvious I got the washi tape and there's <laughs> nothing wrong with it. Um, so, we, there's two washi tapes. Um, this one has uh, various words. It says, bright peace, jolly hope things like that and then a stripe um, in the different colors of the kit or striped um, vertically looks prettier when you do this than looking at it that way since washi is a uh, more of a transparent item this is a long video guys this is going to be a very long video should have said that at the beginning. Sorry about that. So let's kind of get these out. And then that way I can put them back in as we go on. So we got a package of four by six. And I thought there was... Yeah, but there's some others in here. Okay. So... Tasting, touching, hearing, seeing, smelling. So you got a prompt card, which is really cool. Um, Christmas uh, bulbs. Um, that's also another motif that shows up multiple times. 
a little story right now of the trees um, and the different colors of the kit. One, two, three, a pretty uh, vertical, uh, diagonal stripe. Uh, it has one through six, so you can tell six different stories, have six different pictures, whatever you would like. You can cut those out, put on a paper if you wanted. Currently around the house with three different stories and deck the halls. We also got these four by four scalloped cards that says this story, which will fit in the uh, 10 by eight album that has the four, four, four by four pockets. There's also three by four. And I do believe there's eight of these that says December story with a little scalloped edge, which is really cute. We have um, just numbers. There's lots of things with numbers in this kit, uh, which I love because numbers you can use anytime, right? So you get two sheets and as you can see lots and lots of numbers i love that i mean because if you for me like i want to put my granddaughter's age uh, um each time because obviously she's going to show up in my december daily every time since her birthday's in december um the year sometimes you don't you don't have enough twos Right? I mean, you got all these 20, 20, 21st, 22nd dates. Then you have the year 2024, right? So you start running out of numbers. So I really appreciate having lots of numbers. There's also these uh, banners um, that is numbered 1 through 31. And it's gold outline with a little gold number. Let's see if it'll show you. Um, you can use those to number pages. Um, I do not necessarily do this happened on this date. Sometimes that works out that way. Sometimes I don't have much of anything. So don't think that it has to always be December holiday related. It can be for, here's a good example. Um, Thursday, I'm doing an October, uh, October stories album, which I'm way behind on now, but I went and got a flu shot. That's my story for the day. I'm going to tell that in my album. It doesn't have to be that exact season. So you can also document things about past Christmases, things you love, traditions, all kinds of stuff, right? So I've seen several different cute ideas already where people have made some stuff with this, not necessarily using it to number pages, uh, doing a bucket list, uh, doing a table of contents for their album, uh, all kinds of things like that. So, you know, again, nothing Christmas about this. Use it any time of the year. We got these cute um, cork gingerbread men. They have adhesive on the back. There's four, two red, two green. You can leave them plain. You can actually um, put things on it like you would a real gingerbread man that you baked. Um, or if you like you would do in a gingerbread house, you know, using different things. You could use enamel dots. You could do all kinds of stuff. These are stinking cute. They are pockets. There's a set of three. It's pockets with a nice scalloped edge and a little tag inside that you can use. So you can decorate the outside. Um, you could put maybe one of these bows. So these uh, felt bows with gold stitching outline. There's four of those, so you got three pockets. You could do that. Do all kinds of stuff, right? So, I'm just put these in here. In the kit, let me put this in here too. There's a set of acetate trees in various colors. 
So you get six of those. Trees is also the repeated item, like I said earlier, which I like because it brings cohesiveness to your album. Um, especially if you start bringing in things that you already had in your stash and stuff, it helps kind of keep things flowing. These chipboard words are so pretty. Um, Christmas, Twinkle, Mary. Let's move that over so you can see that a little bit better. Christmas, Twinkle, Mary. It's not like a really bright, bright gold, so I really love that because it really uh, goes with just about anything. Believe. Magic is bent a little bit, but that's okay. Once you put adhesive on it and put it on your page, it'll be just fine. Fa la la and joy. One thing I really, really liked about uh, this kit, if you have a large, like, like I got the 10 by 8 album, I got a large picture and there's room to put a big word on it that's great but sometimes you don't have that there are small ones little clear acetate with white lettering that would fit on just about anything let's see it is about four inches so they range in size uh up to four inches i think so Tradition, Believe, The Story, Noel, Festive, Morning, This Year, Christmas, Gather, Twinkle, and Evening. So nice, nice size. Yeah, see like this, Noel's three inches. So three to four inches because they each word's a little different. So I really like that because it's you can use it um, in those ones and it being white um, could stand out a bit more on a lot of those pictures. You could also use these on, uh, you know, cards. Um, you can make your own filler cards out of paper and stuff and use these on as a header or something. Lots and lots of things. I'm not going to open this. This is just chipboard stars, and glittery stars um, in various sizes. There is um, these word phrase strips. It's a navy with gold lettering. And they're perforated, so you just fold and tear, which kind of gives you a nice little edge. There's these frames in various sizes with gold scallop etching on it. A die cut uh, tag pack. So there is different word phrases that have a hole. So you could use string and hang them or a brad or if you don't want them this long, you could cut that off and that end or make a pennant out of it. Uh, there are circle tags. There are half circles, various colors, large ones, various shapes, tag shape. There's that yellow so that helps bring that yellow that's in the kit once in a while. It's not a lot. It's just a little pop here and there. Um, and this one is a tag shape, but it's arched. So very different. I really like that. Again, you can use those anytime. Well, except for those ones with the phrases that might have specific Christmas stuff on it. This is a vellum die cut pack. It is packed. That's something else I love about Allie's kit. Some things you get a few because you don't need a lot of, like um, the Christmas trees, the plastic ones, for instance. But these vellum pieces, 
Look, I mean, these lights. Oops, I just dropped one. Don't want to lose these. Those would be so cute, strung up across a page. There's ornaments. This kaleidoscope uh, piece. Look, it's got different... Look how pretty that is. Different sizes of those. Some doves. More ornaments. Some have words around here, family and friends. So you could use that as prompt base if you would like. But you don't have to. Some tree. Some frames with uh, sprigs as the outline. And some more trees. So that was everything in the main kit another thing i like to use a lot of my stuff for is because there wasn't the tradition this type of scrapbooking back when my kids were little is going back and scrapbooking memories from the past so it also helps with that so let me put this back away, get this out of the way, and I'm going to sit, guys. Sorry if my head was in the way. Real quick, I'm not going to show you the advent calendar because I will not open it. Being older and alone, because I'm single. I'm divorced. Um, having something like this gives me a little excitement each day that I would kind of be missing. I would be missing because I don't have someone to share things with as much, right? So, plus it's, hey, more scrapbooking supplies. <laughs> so, we'll tell you what this one looks like this year. So, it comes like this. I will not turn it over because... I don't know if it's going to show the item, so I won't look. But if you do want to see what's in the advent calendar, and last I looked, it was still available. Um, you can go on to Allie Edwards' YouTube channel or her blog, and she has a reveal for people who would like to see what's in it. It is more of a sticker advent, um, so... Not going to show you that. Just wanted to mention that. Um, where's my box? Where's my box? Oh, I put it down there. We'll go ahead and do this one last since it's so much in it. Okay? We're going to do... This is the Paisley Press Mini Kit. Which is also in the same... Uh, design is the album. So um, I'm trying to think of a way that I might want to incorporate this into my album. Maybe just put it, uh, adhere it in the back of my album to put all the Christmas cards and stuff in. Haven't decided for sure, though. Know. So you get more of the stars. Um, you get a chipboard piece. Um, and she always does a December and the year. So always make sure what I like to do is take everything that has the year on it, set it aside, so I'll make sure I use it. There's a package of papers, vellum pieces, and cards. And because it is the same as the cover of my album, that's why I really wanted this kit. So you have some four by six cards. She also did like a postage stamp uh, edging, oh, which I love. I love stamps. Um, this just says deck the halls. It's printed or written out. And another card. Oh, I forgot. These are two-sided. Allie's are not. The Paisley Press is. So I'll show both sides so you can see. More the postage stamp that it says the happiest season of all. That's that. I look at that and go, I don't know which side I want to use. Holiday cheer. Holiday cheer. And 
And then this one is the same on both sides, but I think... Nope. I thought maybe one had gold foil or something on it, but it doesn't. Um, three by fours. This is Joy. Like a burst, a starburst type pattern. A bow. A few of my favorite things. And then a green one with nothing on it. A prompt card. It says the season. It says date, activity, location, width, time, temperature, field notes. And the same thing on that side, but different colors. Again, the color of the album, Friends That Are Dear To Us. This is gold foil. This is a dark green, I think. Merry and bright. That's a different color. I probably would definitely use that side. Like a wonky star. Jolly Merry Happy. Gold stars. Snowflakes. I have a hard time with snowflakes being in Florida. On repeat this month. Feeling sentimental. Having ourselves the merriest of times. That's gold foiled. That's in red. All decked out. And it has the tree, the mantle, me, all of us. That's pretty. Look at the colors. It's tradition, sense, description, and how it started. Oh, that's cute. And Falala. -la. That looks like a dark green. And then in red. Let's go over this real quick. There's just a few pieces in this. I said I was going to sit down. I'm still standing, guys. Back problems. I can't stand for too long. A bunch of bows in red and gold. Like that. Holiday cheer in green. These all have gold foil. This is joy and all is calm, all is bright. And then the papers, as you can see, the same pattern as the album that I got, and love it. And it's a grid on the back. So all of these are grid on the back. So if you did not like a pattern, you could use the grid as a nice base. Uh, the deck, the halls, it's print and handwritten, just like the card, that same diagonal right the postage stamps the starburst the snowflake this wonky star all is calm all is bright and this is december it's the happiest most magical time da da da, da. i ain't going to go through that whole thing because well i need to save time it's already been 33 minutes, so guys, is I said it's going to be a long video, right? Put that in there. So, I got all the stamps. So, I like, I've already put these in stamp uh, sleeve covers. I like to protect my stamps, especially here in Florida. Um, and I just slide the whole thing inside. I always put who the stamp is by. If there's anything like DD for December da daily in the year, and then the name of the stamp. It also helps me if I've taken out stamps, sets, and let's say I misplaced one and all the chaos of creating, and all of a sudden I got just an empty sleeve, and you're going, I'm missing a stamp set. What stamp set is it? This tells me what stamp set it is, and so I know what I'm looking for. So, six by eight, four by six. Got gingerbread men, 
So you got an outline and the filled in. You got all the various different clothes and uh, eyes and faces and little details that you can put on your little gingerbread men. I can't wait to make some of those. I think that is going to be so cute. I wonder too, we might be able to stamp those on, or I don't think these little ones maybe, but these bigger ones on the uh, cork pieces if you wanted to. Uh, they got an alpha in numbers, and I like how it's different styles, like a ransom note kind of type of thing. Um, so, like that. There's the holiday phrases. So, you get everything from carol, family, decorating, traditions, holly, making, tree, stories, wrapping, on and on. So, love those. Um, a number set. And you will see there's actually a transparency plastic number set in here that's in the same style. And then a couple of different words on here. I like how they did it this side and they had room to fill in, so they added extra to it. This is the Paisley Press stamp set. So you get a lot of the same sentiments you've seen on the cards and stuff. Um, the bows, some sprigs, and then like postage stamp, and that says December. So you could use that and put a number on there if you wanted to. Uh, holiday icons, so you got Be Merry, Holly Jolly. You got the uh, coffee to go cup, bows, a tree. I love this tree. I love this tree. Um, snowflake. Some of the same things, the doves that you've seen earlier, and that is, I know this covers it up, but there's a star, and there is the um, bulb, the holiday bulbs with the little topper, so you can stamp that out, and there's some stars. Um, a line of hanging stars, like a garland or something. you got a tree, an outline, a solid, and then a stripe that you can layer. Lights, here's strings that you could put the lights and ornaments and bows on. There's the scalloped tag set. You can use this any time of the year. Make, you know, gift tags and have them on hand and ready to go. It says, with love, special delivery, to, from, for you, from me, open me, a little something for you. So, and you can just punch the holes and put ribbon or whatever you want to do. Um, then you have some, I think these are two by two squares. Mm, more like two and a half. Yeah, two and a half by two and a half. Um, different patterns and then some edges that you could use around these if you wanted. Uh, this says this December story, so you could use it and stamp out and write out a story and make some. So those are the, all the stamp sets, and that was all as a buy all. So that was all of them. I moved my dog, guys. She's taken over my chair. So, where is it open this side? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. So this thing is packed full. First, I wanted to show you these. So, again, a lot of gold numbers. So, if I wanted to use gold instead of white. But, also, we have letters. So, looks like three of every letter. Um, my only problem is I need so many of the same letters all the time. So what I did was this can be used anytime. They'd be great all year long for anything. I got another pack of those. So I got an extra pack of those. And of the letters, I got two extra packs of the gold letters. Because for instance, my daughter's name's going to take two A's and two N's as well as a J, but because her name's Jana. But then you go through the 
A's so fast, right? And my grandbaby's name is Harper. And then I got Maddie and Mackenzie. So, a lot of A's. <laughs> so, uh, another letter. So, I got two more of those so I can make sure that I have plenty of letters. And I also got... These were some of the ones that were on sale. And they are black of the same font as that gold. So, just want to mention that, that those were extras that I bought. And not part of the main, the kit. A tree die, so I can die cut some trees. And then there's these cardstock trees. And guys... When I say this is loaded, this pack is loaded. There are 50 trees in here. And I think that, see, it's a little bit bigger than the die. But it'd be neat to cut some more out and have a, different sizes. Um, you could do anything you want with these. You know, mix media on them, you name it. Uh, cover them with patterned paper, whatever you want to do. Loaded. Can't believe how much was in there. Um, there's some velvet trim in green, pink, and red. Uh, let's see. I'm going to move those over there. I got the silk screen template things and let's see you get the dove the ornament the sprigs stars I like how it's all different sizes and there's little specks so it's just like in the night sky a bigger one of the different sprigs that gorgeous tree pattern I love and Merry Christmas, repeated. I also got the stencil pack here. Like I said, this is all part of it. Um, you could have bought everything separately. And I lost it. I lost one, guys. Oh, there it is. See what happens? Um, there's that pattern again. This is great. The difference is this is very thin. You can only put certain things through those, right? This, you could do things like um, modeling paste that you can't put through this. You could put ink and paint and stuff through this. Very thin stuff. You put thicker stuff through this. As well as the thin stuff, of course. Make some Mary ornament. Gingerbread men. The bulbs, another one of the tree. Hope you can see that okay. Let's see, let's move that over. It's got stars and looks like uh, snow flurries. Um, that's the bad thing about these things. You can get them tangled up. Mm. He's stuck in there, there we go. Jingle bells. And then uh, a, that star garland pattern again. So those will be fun to play with. Uh, look at all this stuff, guys. See how much stuff? Uh, I must have tore the packaging on this one so it's out and loose. Um, so... Got a whole bunch of these scalloped tags, and they are mm, two and three quarters by four. So they'll fit in the three by four pocket. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and go with this stuff over here so I can put it down in the bottom of the box. So this was another add-on paper pack. Look how many papers are in this. 
not cheap at all look. So again, one-sided. So let's see, candy canes. Mary repeated. A red star on a pink background. That sprig uh, frame pattern. Magic is something we make. A navy blue with a gold foiled star. Um, it's like the sprigs into the shape of like a snowflake. Very pretty. It's probably hard for you to see that. Hearts with various words. You could leave that plain. You could cut them, fussy cut them out. There's Merry Christmas repeated again in the various colors. Um, some sprigs that looks like it's got a bow tie. Oh no, I bet you that is upside down. That is mistletoe. So it's got a bow on it. Pretty. Some, um, looks like some leaves in a red color. A checkered pattern. Again, you could use those any time of the year. Trees with just little dots on it, like you could even say that's snow and do a mountain scene. Memories, use any time of year. There's that, my favorite tree. This December season. That might have to go in the beginning of my album. Mm, love it. The light bulbs. Doves. Just December, and it, it, it crosses, it diagonal, and it cross, crisscrosses each other. There's that uh, stars again. It says peace on earth. Uh, garland's the word I was trying to think of. The trees again. Ho, 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 repeat it. Bows in different colors. The stars with a gold foil and the gingerbread men. And then just a pretty uh, multicolored dot. So pretty. So this one was a boo-boo. Um, we got a we got a discount on these because of the fact that they were story prompt pages. But you can hear, right? You can hear how thick that is, how quality. This is just plain paper. They printed it on the wrong material. But guess what? It's still usable. Ain't nothing wrong with it. If you want it thicker, just adhere it to some cardstock. Uh, right now, loving, listening, eating, watching, reading, and going. You can even fussy cut those wonky circles out and put it on a different paper. Uh, four joyful things. And it's got that little sprig frame. Holiday bucket list. Love all the pretty colors. Oh, this is cute. Holiday interview. Name and age. The true meaning of Christmas is if you had to live a live in a holiday movie which one would you choose my self portrait favorite holiday tradition if you could only have one type of Christmas candy this year what would you choose best gift you've ever received if you were an elf what would your elf name be what toy would you make? Favorite holiday song. Least favorite holiday song. If you could be one of Santa's reindeer, which one would you choose and why? So, the best hot gift ever you've ever received? Ah, uh, sorry. Hands down. My grave, grandbaby. She came six weeks early, so she was in time for Christmas instead of in January when she was due. 
Uh, so here's the story and you got little trees with six numbers. Story little speech bubbles. It says December details under each one. Labels. And then little squares. I wonder if these are two by two. Oop, helps if I do the, the thing the right way, right? And just slightly bigger than two by two. So you could trim it just slightly easily on those edges. Yeah. So those could go in a two by two pocket if you wanted it to. Then there was the die cut pack, the die cut pages. So already got the holes punched in it. So you got a big tag with a tree. This one's different. A little story from this season. So it would go in a corner like that. And then you would flip it. That's, I love the stars in it on the navy blue. Then you have uh, little circles with the half filled in and half blank to fill out or what you want. You got six squares on this pretty mint green. And then it has a scalloped edge pennant flags, a starburst that says Merry Christmas and what I want to remember so you can journal on it, uh, December daily 2024. See, this is one of those things that I would set aside in my album. I'd probably go ahead and put it in my album. Um, there's just pieces that are still not punched out on this. Um, so that I would make sure that I used it, right? Um, during this year's album. Other things you can carry over, use on other projects, but something that has the year on it, I try to get used up. Um, this actually pops out, but you can reuse that as a half circle die cut piece. And then same thing with this one, it's got the trees, but all of the pieces are not punched out, so. It's just uh, layered trees across. Then I've got two different uh, acetate packs. I have the 10 by eight, and I'm gonna close this up for a minute because you'll probably be able to see it better. So there's that uh, drawn leaf sprigs, like in the other items. Um, this one's really hard to see because it's very, very faint uh, diagonal crosshatch type pattern. I can't think of the name of it, so forgive me. We got the ornaments. You could also fussy cut those out. You have sort of like that snowflake pattern, but it's not really a snowflake, so... Again, you can use some of these any time of year. 2024, again, I would have to make sure I use that. If you're doing a six by eight album, you can easily cut this down, uh, some off of each size and still use these. These, you could something like this, you could just cut a strip off. Um, same thing. It's very, very faint, and it just says, ho, ho, ho. Uh, you know what? Let me get a piece out of here. Maybe you can see it. So it just has ho, ho, ho across it. Hopefully you can see that. And let me bring this other one back over here. Maybe you can see it better. So hopefully you can see that better. Um, then there's just plain white ornaments. You could do whatever you want with those. Uh, you can even cut them out and hang them because it's got a little loop. Here's that checkerboard pattern just in a white. You have a gold foil that says, tis the season, repeated across it. And 
Christmas time is here. Now, this one probably would not fit in a... Yeah, it would not fit in a 6x8 this way. Sorry, cat fur. I got a dog and a cat. <laughs> you could put it this way, though. Or you could cut them apart if you wanted to. So that is the 10 by 8 size uh, acetate sheets. And then I got the 6 by 8 ones here. So you got the pretty trees like the 6 by 8 album looks like that on the cover which I loved also. The Star Garland. See, probably see it better on that, right? You got December Memories. Memories in that pretty mint green repeated. And of course, we got the Gingerbread Men. And let me put these in here. I got the 3x8 pack here. So the 3x8 comes pre-punched. But you have cards and acetate in here. So you have all of these. Very generic. You could do whatever you would like with these. Any time of the year. Same with these. There's that tree pattern. Loving this story. More stars. Merry and bright. How we celebrate this tradition. Oh, my heart. More stars. Ho, ho, ho. In a couple of different color patterns. And joy. So those are all the cardstock. Three by eight. Whoop. And I'll turn that over. So we got in the acetate, you got a red uh, Swiss dot with a gold foil joy repeated. December written out in red. Gold foil diagonal stripe. Hearts, merry and bright, adore this season around the tree which you could also cut apart if you would like. You have the gold foil stars, a gold foil grid, the candy canes, the same uh, sprig frame pattern, the best time of the year, gold foil bows, red stars, the color of my album cover, which I love, and fa la 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 all across it repeated. So look how big that pack is. Get plenty. That's what I love. They give you a lot. Um, this is the envelopes. So there's different envelopes. Uh, you get a plastic one that is gold and white star garland. So it actually expands. So there's, you can really pack this full of whatever you want. You could adhere it inside your album. You could poke, poke, punch holes if you wanted to have it where it flips. All sorts of things. Um, this already has holes punched. It is the craft cardstock with the trees printed on it. You could also adhere it in the back of an album or something. Here's a three by eight envelope that is vellum. So you could put a tag, pictures, whatever you would like in that. Just as Merry Christmas repeated. This is the acetate pieces. And sorry, I got to get a drink. Mm. 
Again, I'm not putting these back in their packaging because I'm just going to figure out how I want to store them in, you know, on a cart and stuff like that. Let it snow. I'm in Florida. I know a lot of people love this, but there's a lot of people just like me who do not get snow at Christmas. I do not get snow ever. I can't say ever. Maybe twice in my lifetime there has been snow in Florida. Where, I, where I'm at. In North Florida, actually. But, a couple of years ago, and I have not finished scrapbooking the pictures, me and my family all went up to North Carolina. And we went sledding and all kinds of stuff. So we had a blast. Cannot wait to go back and do it again. But of course, you know, it's a lot more fun when you're not living in it. Having to deal with all the other parts of it. Um, so I'll, things like this, I'll set aside and actually use it for something like that, right? To where I ha I can um, scrapbook those kind of things and, and have those memories. Um, Feliz Navidad, which I like. I love having that. Something different. Uh, jingle bells. I love all the different colors, bringing everything in together. Uh, be Merry and Holly Jolly. And I don't think there's a cover on these. It doesn't look like there's any uh, film over the top of those. Loved this vellum die pack kit piece because they're huge. Not sure what I'm going to use them all for, but you got an ornament that says Merry Christmas across it. But this is why I love this. The red cup. I always document the red cup. Love this. Um, some trees with a gold foil dot and that star garland. A snow, snow, snow globe uh, with some little gold snow pieces. Flex. Uh, a heart says Christmas magic with stars. I love this too. Different. Here for the season of treats, the season of magic, twinkle, of giving, of joy, and of Santa. And then a Santa hat. Can't wait to play with those. So any... Buddy, who's not familiar, Allie Edwards always does classes also. Um, there's a product play class, a hybrid class, because her things are also digital. So anyone who wants, because I'll do some hybrid scrapbooking too. Um, so there's, I can't remember, there's like three classes. And then there's one that's free. So go on her website, AllieEdwards.com. Um, but product play, um, there's a lot of different stuff in there. I get it every year. So you get freebies, uh, digital freebies, and uh, see a lot of good ideas on how to use your products and things that maybe you would like to incorporate or uh, take the basic idea and change it up to how you want it, right? There's these large felt numbers with stitching, and there's a 1 through 10. Love those. Again, any time of year. I love the any time of year stuff. Um, there is gold foiled circles. Get a whole bunch. I think there's probably 31 in here. Um, you could use this again at the beginning of your album as a table of contents, a bucket list, you can stamp numbers, create embellishments, whatever you want to do. Look at this thick stack. I love it. Some companies don't give you near as much as others. I got to say that. So these are two by two. I know that. They are acetate. So some of them have phrases or words on them. Simple quiet moments, for instance, or some just have uh, 
uh, blank on the inside with just a pretty edging, you know, colored edging like this is gold foil. This is gold foil and fa la la. Uh, this is a very slight edging on it. So all different ones. So again, some of it's very December holiday specific. Some are not. But they will also fit in a two by two page protector from what someone else said. Or, you know, the, the page protector with the two by two pockets. If I could say that correctly. Huge, huge die pack, die cut pack. These things are larger. Always like to have something like this. We all can have a day like that where things aren't so great. Christmas Eve, Santa letters, and has some of these have uh, all the different colors, so it's got that touch of yellow in it. Merry Christmas, December routines. You have ornaments, deck the halls, some just circles come together. This story, Santa's coming. Missing You, Stars, that's gold foils. Some of them are regular. This Tradition, that's gold foil. More of those hearts that you've seen elsewhere. So you could cut out the ones on the acetate or other things if you wanted to. Various sizes, see? Which I like. Some doves, some large doves. Bows. Some. This is a very, very light craft color. See, you can see. I, I'm sitting here doing that over there like you can see that. Silly me. Let me move this so you can see this. So, this is a craft box, but look, much lighter. So it goes very well. It's a very nice, nice, neutral color. Um, cozy moments at home. Not always merry and bright. Wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. Just a dot, edge, and then plain uh, solid in the center. So you can do whatever you want. Gingerbread man. Some large gold foiled circles. And those are, what size are those? About three and a half inches. Uh, some more of those pattern with the sprigs that kind of look like snowflakes. Uh, 25. And it says fa-la-la-la-la across it. Then you got words, 24. See, and they have to pull all of those out. Documenting, celebrating. Uh, we got some trees, like on that paper that I love. More of those trees and the colors and December. This, no point in opening. It is wood veneer stars in red, white, and green. Use any time of year. We got chipboard. Um, phrase pieces. And yet they are adhesive on the back with gold foiling. It says, may your heart be light, joy, love, and peace under the tree. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I'll be home for Christmas. Mistletoe kisses, believe in the magic of Christmas. Making a list, checking it twice. Warm wishes, the most wonderful time of year. Tis the season, home for the holidays, son of a nutcracker. Dashing through the snow, spreading good cheer. Smiling is my favorite. Tis the season to be jolly. Jingle bells, wishing you joy. Dear Santa, I can explain. Love is all around. The more the merrier. Holly jolly. Make it a December to remember. And don't get your tinsel in a tangle. So that one I am going to put back in. So I don't lose any pieces until I'm ready to pop them out of the carrier there. Here we go. Uh, these are clear stickers. 
So you could see there's all different sentiments and words. And it's look, some of them has the gold foil around it, but it looks like a, that's got the navy blue around the edge, but it looks like a pretty green and red and pink and a light mint green once in a while with some of the gold foiling. Nice. This is definitely word phrase stickers. <laughs> I could try to say a minute ago, right? And you get three different colors and each one has different words. Here are those acetate numbers I mentioned earlier. That is the same font as the stamp set. So they are, let's see, about one and a half inches in height. So there's more. Did I say words? Numbers. Numbers. See, I've been talking so long. I can't even talk straight. These are more of the page attachers. They came with the kit this year. Or the... It was add-on as extra unless you got the buy-all. Then it just came in it. So you got white, red, and green. Now these are cardstock ones, though. Um, the other ones I had... These, these are plastic. So these are great for things that are heavier or bigger, right? Um, so you could use these. You could actually also, you can either fold them over like that and you just peel this off and it's adhesive or you can cut these in half through the center and only use one side at a time. So... Uh, here are some tabs. Where's the... So you got some tabs that you can use to help flip things over or add it as embellishments. And let's see, they are the same on both sheets. So you got red, pink, green, and it says traditions, decorations, tis the season, magical, moments of joy, twinkle, twinkle, Family favorites, oh, what fun, and celebrate. Sorry, it's kind of small. I'm having to have the light hit it just right so I can read it. And I was so happy to see this. This is number stickers. They're flat. They're gold. Guys. Nothing but ones, nothing but twos, nothing but threes, and so forth and so on. You got a full sheet of every single number. You got zero through nine, so you can do any number that you need to do. Loved that idea. Again, people had mentioned that, how running out of numbers is always a problem. Um, especially if you're trying to number uh, an entire album or using the year and different things like that or numbering different things throughout your album like um, five of my favorite things and you have five, right? Well, then you've used five already, you know, five numbers and now you can only use six through zero or whatever, Allie listened, and she came through with a whole pack of numbers. Again, can use them anytime. And guys, this is the last item. I don't think I got anything else. No, went through the stamps. Okay, yeah, this is the last item. This is a specialty card pack. So you get three by four and four by six. It's vellum acetate and gold foiled cardstock so this is vellum and they are upside down so 
you got Believe repeated. One, two, three in gold foiling. Fa la 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 in gold foiling. The striped in with gold foiling. And a frame. So that's all vellum. Also vellum, pretty trees. 2024 in gold foiling. Oh, what fun. Loving. You have labels. You could actually cut those out if you want. This one's gold foiling. The other two are not. And then acetate. We have the... Uh, let me get something. Here we go. The gingerbread men. A frame. The... Pattern, the striped again, but with gold foiling. We have ornaments. This is gold foiling. Uh, so you have some that's colored, some that are uh, um, empty, nothing in the center. Be cute to put a picture or some words or something like that. And then we have Merry Christmas in gold foiling. So that's all acetate. And then this is heavy cardstock with gold foiling. So joyful. Joyce Noel. Tradition. Adore him. And grateful. So that's all of my stuff that I got this year. Like I said, I know it seems like a lot but I do this is something I really love doing and you know it's like my Christmas present to myself you know um, I actually save for this and I share with others and I also have other albums I create so like my grandbaby's album will have pictures of her each Christmas in her albums, right? So I'll use these Christmas things. So absolutely love, love, love doing December daily. It is so much fun. Um, and if you never have heard of December daily, check it out on Allie Edwards blog. Um, she also has unboxings there and stuff. Um, and if you have any questions, just put them below and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.